Find me in the potting shed. Hello and welcome to the latest and greatest video on my channel. I hope you have all had a fan bloody tastic. How long has it been since I've put a video up? Too long. Too long in this day and age. First thing I want to do before I go any further in today's video, I wanted to say welcome to a garage build video. We are finally on the inside of the garage and it's about to go down. You can see my bikes, you can see my stuff, but you will notice there is no tools in the building right now. Also, I wanted, I wanted to say thank you so, so much to every single human. Could aliens as well be included in this? Every single human that has ordered owner brand in the last like two weeks, it's been ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm blasting through the orders. Loads of you guys have seen on my story. I basically have been proper trying me hardest to get through them all, get them out every day. I'm fully enjoying it and I'm really grateful of the support. We also have a new hoodie online right now. Black and orange. Orange is owner's kind of signature colour, I would like to say. So this is a bit of a tribute hoodie to the brand and it's live online right now. And the best part is you get a free t-shirt or jersey when you order this hoodie or any other hoodie, joggers or jacket on the on the store. Go and check that out. Get your free tea, free jersey, just add it to your basket with your hoodie. Now, before we go any further in today's video, um, I'm deciding whether to even get into the garage thing or I might go and show them the latest and greatest pride and proud possession, me lean-to at the back. Okay, the lean-to, still got no lock on it. The door's swollen in the, in the wet, so basically I built it. God, but come and check it out. Oh, it's looking dry in here. It's looking dry. Basically, I put, a clear, I put the clear roof on in the end. It's not too bad. I would rate it a solid one out of 10. <laughs> anyway, the lean-to is in. The racking has been moved to the back of the garage and we have all the tools, bits, pieces, Maybe one day we'll put a bedroom in here. This used to be a Coca-Cola. Before Coca-Cola it was a beer. And now it's a cup of tea. Life is great. Great. I do love tea. I only started drinking cups of tea. Like, like a month and a half ago. Maybe not even, like one month. I kind of moved here and was like, I'm over the Coca-Cola, finished. And now I have nearly no sugar at all. So if you're wondering why I look as fresh as Quattro. No, he's not that fresh actually. Let me try that again. If you're wondering why I look as fresh as Dixie. No, that's not right. If you're wondering why I look as fresh as Rocco. Hmm, everyone knows. Everyone knows he's fresh. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. I'll be seeing you shortly. It's actually a metal mug. I wanna make metal owner mugs. I'm going to bring in one pack of everything I've bought just to show you guys, and then I'm gonna put it back in the van so that it's basically off the drive, off. So that it's out the garage so I can work on the garage. These are my floorboards, so I've got like loads of these, I bought like 10 packets, which equals a 50 boards. It leaves me some spare for some shelves and stuff like that, but I've got loads of floorboards, as you can see. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, next thing I'm bringing in is my black and orange owner hoodie. I mean, sorry. Interior tongue and groove cladding. This is going to be sick. Basically, the whole walls are getting battened and... T and G'd, and then I'm gonna paint a feature wall, like a, a stain, like a wood stain, and then like a sick desk with um, like a sick desk, and then the side walls, like maybe like a, a clay color or something, and then the floor a different color. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really good. It's definitely gonna be a few videos though, because it's a big, big project. Okay, these are pretty cool. These are like spacer kits for the outside buttons. So I've bought. Basically, I'm not gonna be able to stand it up and show you guys what I'm doing. But, long story short, these are gonna batten along this wall. So, as you can see, 
this timber holding my electrics up here this is to charge the e-bike and whatever else we need we may run another socket to that end but basically these timbers are going to be screwed like this with packers up in the corner using the plastic packers that I've bought today I'm going to screw one every 400 at the top and then fix them at the bottom to another timber along the floor so it's all going to stitch in, I don't need to drill the concrete panels and it's going to raise all the it's going to basically raise all the timbers that little bit off the wall so that, that I can run the cladding along the wall so this is visqueen which is like a damp proof membrane and it's, this is actually so much I don't need half of this or even a quarter of it on the outsides of all of the walls you'll see there's actually a bit of damp all the way around this is basically because these old garages they're like concrete panels that are put together and when the water hits them and runs to the bottom and runs on the concrete base that it's on the water creeps in from the outsides so I'm going to be silicon on the outside but just to make sure none of me wood gets wet I'm going to run a damp proof membrane just along the floor and up the walls a little bit before I fix all my timbers in and stuff so it just keeps everything super dry no damp issues and then we can clad it and everything stays nice and fresh this is going to be good so the first thing we have to do is get everything out of here we have tidied, not tidied it but emptied the garage and it just goes to show how much space I actually have in this place when one bike is in here which I'm hoping I'll work on one bike at a time for videos, mods, different stuff going on it just goes to show how big this garage actually is I can't wait for it to all be wooden, sealed, steezier any garage ideas get involved in the comments below I, need, I should, a, a lot of people have said about changing the roof but I think I just enjoy the fact that structurally the building's done and mega and watertight I'm ready, watertight he said but I'm enjoying that the garage is a working garage right now so I don't really want to get involved in the roof right now I'm pretty happy with it I'm going to clad over the window and just pretend the window doesn't exist for speed so it's going to be good, it's going to be a good build, I'm very excited the first thing we have to do is put a damp proof membrane down up the walls and I'm going to put one up that wall a little bit so just like, only about this high up the wall but just to take just to totally kill any of this damp coming through it's not like it's puddles, it's just some water damage coming in once I, once I silicon the outside I shouldn't have any problems so it's going to be good, I'm very excited let's get straight to it so never worked with this screen before I've never, I've never ever worked with this screen before like a massive rubble sack for everyone so basically what the plan is it's four meters wide and the garage is three meters wide and I'm going to take it half a meter each side of the walls I'm going to do one going this way and I'm going to do one going this way and cut it up the both both sides so we're going to go for that right now let's get into it <laughs> Jeez, a lot. Right, so this is our little damp proof shield. Basically, it's going to fold out at four meters. So we want. enough to go up one wall, like so do you know what, for what it's worth I'm going to take it up higher just because I've got the stuff to do so oh actually, just a thought I could probably get away with just putting one piece in but going up all the walls why would I do two? why would I do two? I, I have so many ideas and a good creative mind but every now and again I just do the stupidest things you know how it is I'm going to say that is definitely high enough and I don't want to go too crazy but basically that is damp proofed there and now we're going to roll it all the way 
to England's most secure garage doors to have them touch the air. Okay, I'm gonna run it. Probably like that, so it can go up the sides. This is good. We've laid it down. As you can see, it's high enough to go up the walls a little bit, like so. Obviously, we can tight and then tape it um, all the way around, high enough there. Now I'm going to go around and put some like sort of dummy, dummy bits of tape on before I go crazy with the tape. I'm hoping to have no tape at all left by the end of this. I wanted that taped up. So. I'll actually just come back when I've taped a lot of it and then we'll see what it looks like. Stay tuned. It is dry, it is raining outside, as you can hear. Look how sick that is. Fully sealed, no water. I don't have to deal with it. So, as you can see, basically, that's quite a rough demonstration of how it needs to be done. So I've taped it all the way around. I've taped it all the way around. I've hooked it onto the metal brackets because it's quite sticky. Basically, when, when I get the floor and the walls in, I'm going to box all the electrics in in this corner underneath here, like this. So you won't see that corner. I'm going to tuck that wire in. I'm going to box, I'm going to cut. I actually said in a previous video I was going to go around and cut all the metal things and everybody thought I meant I'm going to cut the actual metal things. But what I meant was loads of the threads hanging off long like this. Okay, we've got some timber. So tired. I'm doing this now. I'm doing the timbers up the wall. And then we are going back to the owner office to smash through more orders. I hope you've placed an order in today's video. I'm loving it. Okay, right. So... I'm gonna get I'm gonna get straight into this right now and I'm gonna do the first timber. This is stress-free when you have a tub that big full of a thousand screws, you don't have to think about getting a screw. So that combined with PZ2 heads, combined with a Ryobi, is sorta of stress-free. <laughs> never actually used these packers before in my life so I'm just gonna get a little gauge sorry I've got a mask on from cutting wood but you're probably used to seeing me with a mask on anyway basically I've got these little packers here maybe like here we need probably blue ones to pack it out Like that. These are pretty sick to be fair though. Okay, so I've got a green one, which is a super thin one, and two blue ones. I've put some screws in. We are going to fix this right now to the top here. <laughs> Basically, like so. Like so! This is our first timber going in hot. That is so ratty how them spaces went on, but I'll take it, I'm not bothered. So there you go. It's super complicated, but basically, I don't want to drill the concrete floor and I don't really want to break the visqueen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run wood like this, tight up to the timbers to push it all tight, like so, with little L brackets there. And then basically, 
it'll tighten everything up from one wall to the other wall so it's super solid them floorboards across them little buttons so it will raise the floor a tiny bit but it'll look so smart and i'm not the tallest guy in the world so i'm not stressed as you can see i've laid a bunch of timbers like so down here i've fixed them all pretty solid at the top with like two to three screws on each one of them and then basically i'm going to run the same type of timbers along this wall and then i'm going to join like a timber like this but at the length that it is but get it super tight so it pushes it all like that and then l bracket it all and then um once i've done that i can run the floorboards and then the walls so it's going to be really really good i think that's a massive like just to get the garage empty get the timbers up and start the project i think it needed to happen like asap because now i'm super excited for the rest of the project which is really cool it is 9 2 p.m when i'm filming this video so that is going to be the end of this video i'm going to try and get straight back on this for the next video make sure you tune back in for garage updates make sure you drop me a comment below with any sick ideas that you've got and make sure you go and check out owner the new hoodies are unreal they're the vibe orange you know, if you know owner you know that we're into vibe orange we've got vibe orange and black hoodies online right now and you get a free t-shirt or jersey just pick your t-shirt or jersey add it to your basket and it'll be deducted at checkout thanks for watching tune in for the next video i'll see you next time peace out